Okay, so welcome back everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to present the Baptiste Huguet, who is going to um, explain us everything about the Bernier Schrodinger problem uh, related to the Navier-Stokes equation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Annabella. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, thank you to the organizer to give me the opportunity to present this work um, in collaboration with David Garcia Zelada. So I will present the Brunier Schrodinger problem on compact manifold with boundary and uh, its links to Navier Stokes equation. The so first, uh, I will give some motivation uh, and the relation between um, uh, with. Uh, Navier-Stokes equation. Um, so to begin with, uh, the Euler equation, so it's, uh, we can see it as the Newton principle uh, applied to um, fluid um, evolution. So these terms can, uh, can you see my, uh, my, my, uh, my beamer? Oh, so perhaps uh, with the focus, okay. We see you. Okay, thanks. So this is a term of acceleration and this is the force applied to uh, the fluid. And um, so with a condition of uh, incompressibility and um, initial condition on the, our velocity field V. So this uh, problem is um, very difficult. Uh, it's not easy to to, to see if there is a, or no solution. And we can um, study it uh, in an other way. So uh, whether than uh, studying the velocity field, we can uh, study the flow of particle. So the flow Q, which is related to the velocity by this relation. And um, the incompressibility condition divergence V equals to zero uh, is translated to um, volume preserving condition. So the flow uh, is a diffeomorphism preserving the volume. And um, the initial condition is translated to an endpoint prescription Q1. So at the finite all one, um, the particle uh, uh, X is in Q1 of X. And this leads to um, the Arnold minimization problem. So it can be seen as the least action principle um, applied to the fluid evolution, which is the minimization of the kinetic energy. So the action of the kinetic energy with a flow preserving the volume and with this endpoint prescription. Anyway, this problem is still uh, very difficult. And um, so there is an, a new um, relaxation. So um, whether than um, studying flows, we study um, pass measure on flows, pass measure on the on the problem. So um, the condition of uh, Q preserving the volume is translated on the measure on flow uh, uh, preserve the volume, so QT equals to volume, and the endpoint pres prescription is translated to um, a coupling uh, prescription uh, on the endpoint measure. And this is the Brunier uh, problem with so minimization of steel, the kinetic energy, the classical kinetic energy uh, with this uh, marginal condition and endpoint condition. And there is a good um, back and forth between solution of this problem and solution of the Euler equation. So this is um, uh, the sketch for uh, Euler equation. And in my work, um, we don't want to study Euler equation, but Navier-Stokes equation. So 
we work on a manifold compact with boundary. And the difference between Navier-Stokes equation and Euler equation is this um, viscosity term. So here I work, uh, I read uh, with a, uh, a coefficient between the, um, for, for the viscosity, but it's not very important. So this term, uh, so it's Hodge Doram Laplacian on the, the velocity vector field. And as a probabilist, uh, a Laplacian suggests a Brownian process. And this is not a good, um, uh, good news because with Brownian processes, with Brownian uh, trajectories, this uh, kinetic energy uh, is not finite. Uh, uh, almost surely it's not finite. So we can't use um, this uh, classical kinetic energy and we need uh, a notion of stochastic velocity if we want to go further. And um, this other difference, um, so I, I wrote in a red, uh, it's not really a difference between Navier-Stokes equation and Euler equation, but uh, it comes from the boundary uh, of our domain. So we want that the velocity at the boundary is tangent to the boundary. So it's a, an impermeability condition of our problem. Okay, so the first answer to um, this problem of stochastic notion of velocity um, is the following. So if we restrict ourselves um, on measure, not every path measure, but only a Brownian path with drift. So in this form, uh, then the drift V gives a notion of stochastic velocity. And um, you can um, make a link between this, so uh, stochastic kind of um, uh, kinetic energy and fluid equation. So um, this uh, comes from a work from uh, Antoniuk, uh, Annabella, and Mark, I think. So with this LP um, norm uh, of the drift, but LP kinetic energy, um, there is a link with Navier-Stokes equation. So we will deal with uh, in this talk. And um, uh, with um, a Sobolev norm uh, on the drift, uh, it's linked to um, Kamasa Holm equation. So it's a work from uh, uh, Annabella and Liu, I think. And um, more recently, um, there in a work from uh, so Marc, Annabella, uh, Christian, and Jean Claude, um, th there is a link between uh, this kinetic energy and relative entropy, which has been used uh, to link. Uh, Navier-Stokes equation to Brunier-Schrödinger equation, uh, Brunier-Schrödinger problem. And this is Brunier-Schrödinger problem. So in my uh, frame, so R is the law of reflective Brunier motion. I denote H the relative entropy with respect to R. And given a family of measure mu t for t in zero one, one so for now t is only uh, a Borelian set and an endpoint measure P, so a measure on M square. The Brunier Schrodinger problem is the minimization uh, of the relative entropy uh, with the marginal constraint QT equals to mu T and Q01 equals to pi. Uh, so you can uh, see. You can define Brunier Schrodinger problem uh, in a more uh, wider sense uh, um, with, with a, a different um, um, measure um, to define the relative entropy, um, to a, a different reference measure. And um, uh, in, you, you can define it on different spaces. Uh, it's not a, a, really related to uh, um, manifold with boundary. But in my framework, 
uh, we have manifold width boundary and uh, refracted Brownian motion. Okay, so this is the problem we want to study, and we want to link this problem to Navier-Stokes equation. So there are three questions we will deal with. So first, the link between Brownian Schrodinger problem and a kinetic energy problem. Then the link between the link with Navier-Stokes equation. So for which tens of kinetic velocity can we recover uh, Navier-Stokes equation? And now, uh, uh, at, uh, finally, uh, the problem of existence of solution. The, there are previous results from uh, a paper of uh, so Marc, Annabella, uh, Christian, and uh, Jean-Claude. Um, with so the link with the Navier-Stokes equation in uh, Rn and Tn, the, the tor, torus, and uh, existence of solution on the torus. And so uh, in uh, our work with uh, David, uh, we extend it to a compact manifold with boundary. So first, the link with kinetic energy and Brunier-Schrodinger problem. So R is the reflected Brownian motion on our manifold. So it satisfies this um, stochastic uh, equation. Um, and there is a kind of Gersonov theorem. So from um, Christian Leonard, so Gersonov theorem under a finite entropy condition, um, such uh, which states that if P has finite entropy, then P is a semi-martingale, and there exists a drift in uh, this class, class of drift, uh, such that um, X satisfies this uh, stochastic uh, equation, differential equation. And so what, what is HP? So uh, each uh, velocity uh, square integrable with finite uh, energy. So uh, this uh, equation uh, is a, there is a slight uh, abuse of notation because in HP, you don't have velocity, but co-velocity. But anyway, so it's normal. It's for, um, you, you shouldn't write this term uh, like this, but uh, using this uh, duality, you can see that this co-velocity has a velocity. Okay, so for a measure with finite entropy, we have this. So for a solution of Brunier-Schrodinger problem, there exists a velocity, a drift, with a finite uh, kinetic energy in this sense. And so we, we have this expression of the density, which give um, this relation between uh, relative entropy of P, so how solution of Brunier-Schrodinger problem, and this uh, stochastic kinetic energy, and has a P0 is prescribed uh, by the problem, you can see that if P minimize um, the entropy, so P minimize the um, kinetic energy. So this is this link with the least action principle between the Brunier Schrodinger problem and a kinetic energy problem. Okay, and now um, we will make the link with the fluid equation. So, first, um, we need to introduce. Uh, a notion of regular solution. So at the beginning, I said that T uh, is uh, a Niborellian, but now I need more structure. So T will be the union of a regular times, which are a finite union of open intervals, and uh, shock times, which is finite a finite subset of zero one. Um, and a regular solution 
So will be a measure, a solution, which has this form with uh, a function eta, um, theta s and a pts, such that, and this will be really vague, but such that the quantities in the proofs, in the following proof are well-defined and sufficiently regular. So I, I won't uh, give the exact expression of this uh, quantity uh, we want to be uh, uh, regular and well-defined, but I will show you where they appear. And just uh, some words. So this kind of formula, this form of regular solution uh, comes from the primal analysis of Schrodinger problem as a convex uh, optimization problem. And so um, in uh, generality, we can't show that there exists um, this P and theta um, um, uh, well-defined such that the quantity are well-defined. So it's um, a, a new assumption to say that there exists a regular solution, but in this part we'll uh, go with. And uh, also, uh, so, uh, eta, theta, and p are linked of, uh, to um, the the data uh, nu and pi uh, from the Schrodinger problem. So, if we change uh, our problem with a new uh, marginal condition and point condition, we'll have different pressure. So, uh, theta and p are pressure more p, um, and okay. So th this is a regular solution and with regular solution, so we can state this uh, major uh, result, how theorem. So for almost uh, Y in M, the backward stochastic velocity that I will define in the next, next slide is well-defined, exists and derived from a potential. So we have this form. And this velocity, the backward velocity, satisfies the Navier-Stokes equation. Um, this um, shock time uh, prescription, so and so non-continuity at shock time, if you want. The impermeability condition and this uh, initial condition. Okay. Um, so a few comments. So what is the backward velocity? So in uh, our work, we defined it uh, this way. So it's not a canonical definition. Uh, perhaps you, you have seen it with a, a minus. Um, okay, so it's the vector uh, xt minus h xt um, conditionally to the future x t1. And there is also a forward velocity uh, if you take the vector x t, x t plus, plus h conditionally to the past x zero, one, uh, x zero t. Okay, this will be uh, interesting uh, later. Um, another comment, so the Navier-Stokes equation is not satisfied by the drift. So we said that a solution is a Brownian motion with a drift, but the drift, drift is not the good velocity uh, to recover Navier-Stokes equation. And we will see uh, it in the, in the proof. And uh, we didn't recover the incompressibility condition, but if we want to find a velocity satisfying this condition, so it's the current velocity, which is a mean of average backward velocity and uh, forward velocity. Okay, and so we can recover um, this continuity equation. And for mu uh, equals to volume, so mu constant equals to volume, it's only a divergence on the V equals to zero. So 
the incompressibility condition. So uh, some ideas of the proof. So first, using um, the form, the special form of um, a regular solution, you can uh, compute the density um, of Px on zero t, and it makes appear this um, term, so um, uh, psi x. Um, but basically, it's all the terms uh, we can't uh, deal with. So this is good, and everything. Uh, uh, left is in, in Psi. Okay. And using the Gersanov uh, formulate, um, formula, you we also have um, this expression of the density. So we can compare it, the two of them, and we obtain this relation. And now uh, that's why we need so this function Psi, which is the forward potential which is called forward potential, we need it to be sufficiently regular to use Ito equation, Ito formula on Psi, and we obtain the two results. So um, this link between the drift um, and Psi, so drift equals to the gradient of Psi, and which is also equal to uh, the forward velocity. And Psi satisfies this um, system. So this is a hamilton jacobi bellman equation. Um, this is almost the uh, impermeability condition. So this is the impermeability condition. And this is what occurs at shock time and uh, initial condition. And now, um, using this relation between uh, the velocity and the potential, we can uh, so take the gradient and obtain this first fluid equation for the forward velocity. And what occurs is that we don't have the good sign before the uh, viscosity term. So the forward velocity or the drift, because it's the same, um, don't satisfy uh, Navier-Stokes equation. And that's why we use backward velocity, because there is a link between backward velocity as the velocity of the reverse process. And this uh, allow to have the good, good sign before um the viscosity term so this is the idea of the proof okay and uh now um i will talk about uh some existence result of solution okay so first um i will give we will look for solution of a special bernier schrodinger problem um, called incompressible Brownian Schrodinger problem, which is QT equals to volume for all T in zero one. So uh, an incompressible uh, marginal condition on QT. And <clears throat> the method to prove that there exists solution uh, is the following. If you show that there exists a measure satisfying uh, marginal condition and endpoint condition with finite entropy, then, so uh, of course, this measure uh, has no reason to be a solution, but there exists a solution. You just have to, to exhibit one finite entropy measure satisfying the condition. And um, so this has been used um, so by uh, Marc, uh, Annabella, Christian, and Jean-Claude uh, in the Taurus TN. And they show that um, the only condition we have 
is on the endpoint uh, prescription pi. So if pi has finite entropy with respect to uh, the uh, endpoint measure of the Brownian motion, then there exists a unique condition, uh, a unique solution of, Brunier, of this incompressible Brunier-Schoeniger problem. And of course, um, it's only a solution, but not a regular solution. This uh, question, we, we don't have uh, any ideas uh, for now. Okay, so with uh, David, so we want to obtain uh, this kind of result on compact manifold with boundary. And um, so we start with a compact manifold on which the group of isometries acts transitively. So of course, um, these manifold are not with boundary because of the action of um, the isometries. But, um, it's um, manifold as uh, the spheres of the torus. And we show a result uh, in the, with the same condition as uh, on the torus. Uh, so there is a unique solution if and only if the endpoint prescription has finite entropy with respect to uh, endpoint measure of the Brownian motion. And the proof is uh, almost the same as uh, in the torus, but there is one uh, slightly different, uh, th there is one difference. So you use this uh, measure, this pass measure, so specifically uh, designed to the, the proof. So it's easy to compute that uh, the endpoint measure of Q is pi, that um, Q has finite relative entropy with respect to R. So it's um, a lot of uh, uh, compactness of the domain which is used uh, in the, for, for this uh, computation. And this last point is the only difference between the torus and uh, more general uh, manifold. Uh, in the torus, you can compute direct, directly that QT equals to volume. And here, uh, we didn't succeed to, to compute QT, but we can show that QT um, is invariant with respect to the isometry. And we can use a result of uniqueness of such a measure. So QT equals to volume. And so we still want a solution, existence of solution on a compact manifold with boundary. And we will use the result on uh, this uh, manifold on which uh, isometry acts transitively to do so. So if N is the quotient of a manifold um, under uh, G, which is a reflection group, so a group of isometry um, engendered by, uh, spanned by uh, reflections. And we denote by Q uh, the quotient measure, uh, the quotient uh, application. So <laughs> Q um, uh, behaved, uh, behaved really well uh, with respect to our problem. So it will transport volume measure on M onto volume measure on N. It will uh, transport Brunian motion on M to Brunian motion, uh, to reflected Brunian motion on the quotient N. And uh, it will uh, behave well uh, with respect to uh, the marginal uh, and entropy condition. So if there is a solution of the problem on M with the endpoint condition pi, then just by um, quotient, there exists a solution on N and with the projection of pi. And the, the important part of the theorem, it's the 
other sense. So if M is a compact homogeneous space, so a manifold on which acts transitively uh, the isometries, then for all tilde pi uh, on N, you can lift it to a pi on M, so on M square, of course, um, such, um, and you can uh, construct a good um, path measure uh, on M with which respect the marginal condition, entropy condition, and the image of uh, this measure uh, proves that there exists a unique solution uh, for the problem on N. And the only condition at the end is on uh, is as uh, in the torus uh, as everywhere that uh, this tilde pi so, so there is a tilde uh, here tilde pi has finite entropy uh, relative to uh, the endpoint measure of the reflected Brownian motion. Okay. And so uh, we can use this theorem to create a lot of examples. So um, the, the simpler example so, uh, is uh, the rectangular box. So in a two dimension, it's only the rectangle. But so you, you can imagine on n dimension, uh, a box uh, with, uh, or with rectangle. So, uh, how can you do it? So, um, the torus uh, can be quotiented into rectangle. So, um, it's uh, the classical image of the torus as a, uh, the square, and you you fold uh, and uh, and you refold. So, along uh, these arrows, and um, the quotient to make a rectangle is along this dotted line. So reflection along this dotted line, and you obtain four rectangles. And so you can show that um, as Tn, uh, there exists solution on Tn uh, under finite entropy condition, then there exists solution on the rectangle under finite entropy condition. And another uh, good uh, example, um, is uh, the rectangular triangle uh, on the plane. So it's a different vision of the torus, but um, this uh, hexagon is a torus. So uh, it's more difficult to see, but uh, if you fold uh, along the uh, double arrows, so you obtain uh, a kind of cylinder and you cannot uh, directly fold it uh, and glue uh, these arrows to this arrow and this arrow to this arrow. But if you do, uh, if you twist your um, your cylinder, so you do um, a, an Indian burn, uh, this arrow um, will be in front of this arrow, and you will you can glue it, and uh, also for them, and you obtain the torus. And now uh, the regular triangle um, is the fundamental domain uh, of the action uh, of this of the reflection group um, spanned by the reflection along the dotted lines, the, the three dotted lines. And you, we have uh, existence um, and uniqueness of a solution uh, on the triangle. Uh, if only if the endpoint measure has finite entropy con uh, condition. And we can have uh, another uh, example. So I don't have, yeah, I, I don't have uh, a picture for it, but uh, for example, on the, <clears throat> on the sphere, um, um, uh, yeah, on two dimension, on the disk, uh, but not, uh, the flat disk, but disk with um, positive curvature as the cushion of the sphere um, along its uh, 
uh, equator and you obtain two uh, discs with a positive curvature. And so you have also uh, existence and uniqueness of solution under finite entropy condition. Okay, so these are all um, results of existence um, on compact domain with volume measure. And so I give a last example. So it's not uh, an incompressible um, Brogenier Schrodinger problem, and it's not in a compact space. So that's why uh, this example is, in, I think, interested, interesting. So it's on Rn, non compact domain, with the marginal condition, um, a Gaussian, uh, uh, Gaussian law condition. And um, we can show um, that there is a unique solution if and leave the same uh, entropy condition. So this is interesting, but uh, this is the same result, but um, in the proof, we don't use, uh, we, we can't use compacity, but uh, to the compacity argument is uh, replaced by um, an um, uh, L2 condition on the measure mu, which is uh, there, uh, the Gaussian law. So there is a moment of order two uh, on M and on N, and this uh, uh, this allowed us to to have uh, the result. Okay, and so uh, I will finish with some uh, perspectives. So uh, there is a different uh, perspective on this work. So first we can uh, work on a generalized Navier-Stokes equation. So uh, with uh, two, two paths. So if we change the reference measure, so with a, a sticky or a porous uh, reflected bonnet motion, what kind of uh, fluid equation uh, will we get? Um, I, I, so I say sticky or porous, but uh, it can be uh, anything else. And in the other way, if I want to add, uh, for example, a, a source term in Navier-Stokes equation, what kind of reference measure um, do I have to, to put in my Brunier-Schrodinger uh, problem to recover it? Um, other question, are uh, on the existence of solutions. So all the um, uh, all the example I show you uh, are very regular, um, very regular space with re very regular measures. So you measure, um, uh, for example. Uh, so it can be interesting to to see if we can uh, obtain something on. Um, uh, scalene triangle, for example, just on the uh, uh, on the plane, and um, we want to do also something uh, on the hyperbolic space and its quotient. So this is, uh, if you want an idea, to to recover uh, something on the torus with two holes. So we have result on the torus with one hole. What can we do? With a uh, on a surface with a genus uh, uh, more than two, and also non incompressible problems so as the Gaussian uh, Brunier Schrodinger problem. So there are also question of numerical resolution of such a, a, a problem. So there is a a work um, uh, on on the torus. Uh, uh, with a syncort algorithm, but okay, what can we do uh, more generality or uh, even on the triangle? Can, can we do something on the triangle, which been very interesting? And now um, uh, the list um, uh, generalization of this probabilistic approach. So um, it's interesting because Navier-Stokes equation. So um, to, to define it, you, you need uh, uh, some uh, differential calculus um, uh, 
um, uh, so tools. And Brodnie Schrodinger problem, it's, uh, it can be defined uh, without all these tools. So it's just entropy on a space. Um, and so we can see, uh, I, I show you that Brunier Schrodinger problem can be seen as uh, an entropic Navier Stokes equation. So uh, it can, uh, we can, uh, with Brunier Schrodinger, uh, define a kind of Navier Stokes uh, equation on a different space. So this, this is a, a perspective. And also, uh, if we change uh, the notion of entropy, uh, can we get uh, another uh, fluid equation? So uh, as I, um, I show uh, on the beginning, there is a link between different kinetic energy to different fluid equation. And can we do it uh, in the entropic sense? Okay, so thank you for uh, your attention. Uh, thank you, Philippe, for a very nice presentation, very nice work. Um, I think there are some questions in the room here to start with. Hello? Uh, yes, they are. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, and uh, why do you need uh, your, your manifold to be compact? Uh, so if it's non-compact, then what happens? I mean, uh, it's, I, have a, I have an experience that, uh, that the, the compact manifold is, easy, is, is, is easier to do uh, visualization. I'm not sure if, if you are in this case. Well, um, so we use capacity, uh, so a lot um, uh, in this um, for, for this result, for example, so, um, to uh, especially to to obtain the finite entropy uh, condition. Okay. So, so there, um, yeah. As I said, it's complicated to, to do without uh, compactness. Um, and uh, yeah, I... Okay, that, that, okay uh, here. So th this is where you, you use the compactness, right? You, you, you need this yeah, to yeah. prove the finite entropy condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And, I but uh, for the kinetic um, kinetic problem, so um, so where can I show? Yeah, so um, there is a result um, from uh, Marc, Annabella, Christian, and Jean Claude uh, in RN uh, for the kinetic result. So uh, without uh, uh, compactness, um, so. Uh, there is probably something to do, yeah, without oh. capacity. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, there, there is some problems with the probability measure, maybe because if it's not compact, then you may need the measure to be uh, to be tight or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, thank you, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Um, well, everything is very much based on the structure of the group of the diffeomorphisms, which is underlying. And I guess that when, I mean, it's kind of difficult to work with the diffeomorphisms on non-compact spaces. There are a lot of things, technical results that don't work. Um, anyway, um, uh, I have a question. You said that uh, one one perspective is uh, to go to other uh, fluid equations. Yeah. You yeah. Are probably um, I don't know Kamasa Holm if it's like this, right? What 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 kind of other questions were? My question is, what kind of other questions were you referring to? Ah, uh, so. <laughs> 
so I, I was thinking, yeah, um, so on, um, obviously, so porous media equation or Kamasa oh, yeah. own uh, equation. So uh, they don't have, uh, th there is work um, with uh, a kinetic energy approach, but uh, I was thinking, so is there uh, an entropy, uh, entropic approach of them? And, but perhaps it's not the, the easy way, easiest way to, to do. So, um, so I will, so th this is the, the how would you say, uh, the, the final goal perhaps, but um, more, um, more easily, um, the ISD is more to, to change the entropy. So, uh, perhaps uh, a Berg entropy, um, a, a brunier schrodinger problem with Berg entropy, and to look at uh, what can we get with this problem. Can we get a, uh, so a, a velocity? Can we get a fluid equation? And and what is this fluid? What is the fluid equation we get? Uh, okay, thank you. Um... Thank you, Baptiste. Uh, a question related with an aspect of the original Schrodinger problem, uh, with, which could be transposed here. Um, in the flat case, the, the integrand is a kinetic energy for the various NL principle in your sense. Um, and we have another theorem which associates with any symmetry of the PDE, the free heat equation, uh, some cons probabilistic conservation law, namely martingales. It is very, for example, to illustrate, if you take the Brownian motion as a critical point, you can recuperate all the symmetry of the Brownian motion, including the list of uh, Brownian martingale, like this. So it is very likely that there is something like this for Navier-Stokes. The, the symmetry group of Navier-Stokes is very rich. I seems to believe that this is as rich as the one of uh, the group of uh, symmetry of Euler equation. So you should have some kind of uh, conservation law which could help in some sense in what you want to do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, questions from the chat? No. And uh, no more questions in the room. Okay. So uh, thank you again, uh, Baptiste. I, I yes? think there is a question uh, from uh, Emric Barada. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, do you hear me? Yeah. Yes, it's good. So uh, my, my question will be a bit technical. So in your, uh, what you call the regular solution, you, you choose to have some, some uh, singularity of the pressure. You assume to have the pressure of, of type something regular plus some Dirac's at uh, yeah, shock number. times. Um, I guess that it's not possible in the case when mu t is the volume. So probably the shock times correspond to some kind of singularities for the for the marginal uh, prescription, and I guess you cannot have something too singular and still have finite entropy. So, do you have uh, some intuition on this? What, what kind of singularities are you looking for? And oh no, um... well, so. We take uh, we we took this uh, very um, um, a wide class of regular solutions, but um, I I, uh, I I don't really know the uh, how um, are linked um, this uh, shock time and this uh, this shock to um, the uh, marginal prescription. Um, yeah, so. Okay. 
Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a difficult question. I think. <laughs> so this time I think there are no more questions. Uh, so let's thank again, um, Baptiste. And I hope we are given 